Welcome to Spirit Soul Sense Information for Your Soul, and I am Charisse. And I wanted to talk about the extreme weather that we have and about all the animal mass die-offs that have been happening. So I absolutely love nature and I pay very close attention to what's happening in nature. I don't watch a lot of TV, but I watch a lot of clips by National Geographic and the Weather Channel that cover what's going on across the world. So one of the things that have been happening is the earth has been getting warmer. I like to say global warming. My sister likes to say climate change because she's an environmental scientist and that's the more appropriate term. But in general, the temperature of the entire earth is rising, which doesn't mean that everywhere is going to be hot at the same time. It means that there are going to be extremes in weather patterns across the world. So the climate is changing. I've heard that the climate change that we're going through right now has actually happened before. You know, they can go and look through all the rocks and all of the ice and see what the pattern of weather was like before. And it's changed before. I think the difference now is that we live in a very industrial earth. And so we are accelerating the change so that I think if we don't start to do things differently, then it's going to take an even further turn. Because all in history, there have been extreme weather patterns and animals dying. But I think this one that we're going through right now is going to last longer than it has before in the past. I think I have a view of nature and the world that might seem kind of weird to a lot of people. I feel very similarly to Gary Zukav when he talks about in his book, Seed of the Soul, this concept about uh, collective energy. So animals in particular. So in his book, he uses the example of like horses and dolphins. Each of them has their own collective energy. They're not all as conscious as we are. So I have my own soul. We are part of the whole universe, but animals also have a collective soul. And so he talks about this idea that the dolphin soul, the collective energy of dolphins is kind of tired of living here. Maybe not dolphins right now, but you know, there's certain species of whales, um, other marine life that are like, fuck y'all, we out. And they just, they die. They either beach themselves or the environment that they're living in becomes so inhospitable that they end up leaving in mass. So these animals decide that they want to be out. They leave in mass. And that's really sending us a message that the world the environment that they're living in is not something that's bringing them you know joy anymore and so they want to leave and so we can take that message and we can make the necessary changes in the daily things that we do individually and then bigger corporations deciding that actually i am going to reduce my carbon footprint actually i'm going to reduce my use of fossil fuels to make sure that my children my great 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 grandchildren have a world that's filled with all the wonderful things that I had growing up. I think of extreme weather patterns in a very similar way. Everything is information and Earth, Mother Earth is telling us, stop your shit. Don't you want to live this life? Don't you want to keep eating the things that you're eating? Help me help you. And so that happens in different ways. We get extremely major hurricanes that completely devastate areas. Uh, we get severe flooding in areas, severe droughts, and it's all connected. Like it's all connected. And I, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, right? So I don't believe in end time signs. I do believe that one day the earth will cease to exist and that there will be something else in its place. But I don't think anyone can predict the ending of the earth. I don't think it's going to happen for a very, very, very long time. Uh, and so I'm, I'm not, I don't want anyone to think that, oh, these are signs that everything is going to end and uh, man has become so sinful. I don't think in terms like that. I think everything that's happening is going to help the evolution of our souls. I really still believe that we are all going to be enlightened one day. Not me personally, but my soul. My soul one day will become enlightened and the human race as a whole, I really believe, is going to be enlightened one day. I think right now this is like a big bump in the road. I don't think humans are going to continue to destroy our planet. I think we will 
continue for a while, but one day we will start to really actually reverse the changes that we have made. I think a lot of people have been doing it. I'm on, I love a good newsletter. And so I know the people who are doing advocacy work, uh, trying to save animals, trying to bring awareness to climate change. And so we are doing, like, people are putting their money towards these ideas that we have to take care of the earth. It's a living, breathing thing that we can't just use up indefinitely. I'm just curious about how long it will take people to actually get there. People and countries have been depleting natural resources for a very long time, thinking that they, you know, would never run out. But as they can see now, in closing fisheries, in closing farms, these things do run out. That's why we're turning to alternative sources of energy, because everything is not unlimited. So for our souls to continue evolving, we are going to need these challenges, we're gonna need these signs from the universe telling us, hey, wake up, help me, help you to live like this awesome life here on Earth. I think it's awesome to be an Earthling. I love it here. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts. Thank you for watching.